Hello people, and today I'll be showing you how to make a satellite in KSP and how to put it into Carbon Orbit. So first you just got to select Satellite. I just like this model, you can choose the others, but I just prefer this one. And uh, do note that in the demo you won't be able to do this if you have the demo. So first you would, you'll probably want to just get two solar panels put them on either side like that and then you'll get communitron this isn't really essential but it's it's just something fun uh, and I'm not sure actually where to put this might as well just put it there and now you'll probably also want if you just want to stabilize your orbit you might want a little engine if your orbit isn't perfect just to get yeah <coughs> so so now yeah tiny little stack decoupler this one the TRV2V yeah and then you'll you'll want this NCS adapter put it on and what you'll want to do is you'll want one of these FLT 800 fuel tanks you want to put LVT 45 on the bottom so this is going to be the stage that will get into space and will get into a nice orbit and then you want also now you just want to stack the coupler and then you'll probably oh forgot you will probably want an SAS module most probably you will want that and now you'll just have to go to structural it doesn't really matter if you use tricoupler or bicoupler I'll just use a bicoupler for now it'll be enough then you put two on and then you'll want this and then you'll want to have one of those so now this is going to be the rocket that will get you into space and yeah you, you could probably use less because I think you probably don't need this much fuel but just to be sure you, it's usually good to be on the safe side okay good so now I'll just make it even stronger just connect it and yeah be sure to connect these two together because otherwise it will start wobbling around and then that you don't want that to happen just don't and now what do you want also you will want some winglets either side to control yes and also notice the whole time I've been having my symmetry mode on two and you just change it by clicking on it you can't see my mouse but yeah you won't need any winglets on this stage because you should be higher up enough and you won't need the winglets so just uh, let's call this uh, uh, ooh, Voyager 3 because there's already a Voyager 1 and 2 that's way out of the solar system now so just call it Voyager 3 even though this isn't gonna go very far it's just gonna go into orbit around Kerbin but yeah you might as well call it Voyager to continue the Voyager series. So now you just put the throttle up by um, by holding down left shift. You put the throttle down by holding down left control, and then you press space to launch and decouple. So yeah, now as you see down where the nambul is, you want yeah you see the surface velocity is coming is coming up and then here up at the very top you see your height your meters that changes to kilometers and everything and then you toggle SAS by pressing T and yeah so now when you get to 170 meters per second you're going to start lowering it to just to save fuel so that you don't get too far and then you want to make sure that you you don't get to 200 meters per second before 10 before your 
10,000 meters up. So you just want to keep on putting throttle down to save fuel. And but also you got to make sure that even so it's still rising slowly. Okay. When you get to 10 kilometers, just put the throttle up to max and uh, just control it by pressing D and holding to all the way to this 90 mark. And that should be enough. All the way. All the way. Okay. okay. This isn't allowed. Me. So now you just want to keep keep your throttle not on max. And now you press M to go to this view. Planet view. And then, oh, okay. So as you see here, we've run out of fuel. So you just press space to decouple and space again to launch. Now you want to probably put this down a bit. So it doesn't, you don't waste too much fuel. As you see here, this, this is our, this is the highest point we're going to get. Now, when that gets to about 70,000, you want to stop the engine by pressing X, and then just click on this AP. Yeah. Yeah, how much is that? 73, good. So you want to click on AP, add maneuver, and then you just want to hold this and ever so slightly bend it around so and then once you get a AP 107 PE 72 that's enough and then so here on the number you will want to you will want to get all the way to this blue mark all the way to the blue mark and make sure that you're right on it and then when the estimated burn time gets to the mode time exactly the same then you want to start burning yep good and now so this will once you've finished you're just going to make sure that this goes all the way down uh, and then as you see here this is expanding and this is saying that this is going to happen it's not a perfect orbit but it's good enough it's about 50,000 and then you probably also want to get it right in the middle so that it doesn't float off so you see now the, the bar is getting pretty close and then when you get to about yeah it's good enough 17 yeah so as you see here we actually now have our orbit but still you might want to slim it down a bit yeah this is a bit too much so you want to just you just wanna yeah just want to get this to about 65,000 yeah okay it's, it's not very good it's not too great and then also now it's return. Let's see how much fuel we have. Okay. So you might want to just adjust the orbit a bit by slimming down the AP. So now whatever happens, we're going to be in orbit. So if you just stay like this, you don't have to slim down the orbit, but if you want to, you can. I'm just going to try. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the whole thing. Yeah, I know I've gone past it now. So you want to get to this mark on the number. It has an X through it. Urgh, come on. And then you'll want to just... Once I get there... When I get there. Okay, so yeah. And then you just slowly, ever so slowly put it on. You'll see immediately that this starts going down, but this also starts going down. But this goes down much faster. So even so you need to be really careful here. I'll put it down 50 uh, 
50 won't be good enough. That's the problem, you just need to get all the way there. Just need to find the perfect balance. Always just need to find the perfect balance. If this orbit is very far from perfect. Very far. I'm going to slow down now. Okay, just say yes now. Just put it on. Let's get this up a bit. And things this rise much 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 faster. So one five, okay. Well it's good enough I would find. Okay, so just yeah. And now you won't be needing this stage anymore since if if you're happy with the orbit, you won't. So just press space to decouple again. And now, yeah. So this engine is just if you want to really get it perfect. But I don't really use it. And just to make sure there are no accidents, just shut down the engine. There, okay. Shut down engine. So now... Whatever I do, it won't it won't turn on no matter where I put the th th throttle. So now you just want to, if you can, you just want to get everything out. Make sure. <laughs> well, looks as if there's something really buggy going on. Yeah, I say yes, maybe. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> it's bugged out. Well, that's it, really. So you see, even space junk is also just gonna go in exactly the same orbit. Let's just speed up time. See how it. No. That's better. See here, he's speeding up time. I'm on the dark side. Now we're going to get to the light side. So that was that, and bye.